morning, everybody. For those of you watching Portrait, you'll notice we have two chats on the screen right now. The one on the top is the one from YouTube and is for the people who are watching this in Portrait on Kick who cannot read the little chat on the side. If you're watching this in landscape, you only will see the regular screen, which the main device can be zoomed in to make it bigger as needed. Also, we have the panel open, a QRK, and um, so we will be answering panel calls as well. We're also going to have a poll during the live show, which is important as part of our data points. So let's create a poll. A poll is very simple. It is um, do you like this format? And the answer is yes or no. Um, or do you like the old one? Better. Old format better. Do you like this video format? Okay, that's easy here. Okay, because if I ask asking if you like the old one better, then you can get a mixed answer so you can which could be sold in yes, no, no, yes, yes, yes. Um so we'll just keep it simple. There we go. So that's the poll. We're going to run that test a little bit um, later on. Also, as part of the data set sampling, we are going to be um, comparing numbers with um, other charts as well. Um, now, uh, the... So, I, I don't know. Right now, I'm seeing a no. 100 is dominant. Um, so, but to be fair, a poll will run for at least until about 10.30, maybe 11 o'clock to give people the time to come in and check it out. I suggest this format because they say more people will see it on the shorts. I don't know how that really works. I just know is that I think it's stupid. Lomi agreed with me. She said that this is ridiculous that people are pushing you to this format when you already were happily using the other format that was already set up for it. This format we're not set up for. This um, is alien. Alien. Maybe you should put yourself on the top and put your um, the chat on the bottom. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> um, oh, yes, they are. About to explain, still work. I'll stand here, don't. All right, let's go to the panel. It's QRK. I'm going to open that up as well. I got a feeling that Mac Mini is going to hit me at the end of the day, but, um, oh well. Shakita Guy 9. So. If my, power, if my Mac doesn't have a hernia at the end of the stream, I'd be very happy. <laughs> well, you know, I got to agree with you, but we'll see what the final score is. This is. These data sets that we get are going to be... I already add the pedal open stand. Come on up. It's QRK. QRK panel is open now. If you want to come up and talk to the audience, it's QRK is the panel link. Um. 
Um, yeah, I know. Right now, it looks like the no's are 82%. That's okay because we have the regular live stream one um, landscape coming up as well. We're going to be uploading both of them tonight. So you're going to have both of them plus the video I did yesterday um, at Cumbies. It's okay, Stan. Well, also, we do have some other news, which is a little more exciting. Uh... Me, Michelle, and Carmen found a solution to the intimacy issue. Yes. <laughs> the end, uh, it turns out Silver Moon permits polygamous relationships. Um, so it's very possible that once we become adults in Silver Moon, all three of us could be getting married. Um, but we'd be all three separate people. Yeah, the three amigas, the three amigas. Yeah, and um, I, I saw that um, you were kind of excited about some stuff that you and her were talking about this morning. Yeah. Um, we, um, she said to me is, um, I see you're kind of excited. And I said, well, e yeah. Um, she said, would you ever want to get down on me? I and I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle was like, oh, brother. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so you're telling me all I have to do is die to be one? Yes. In short, it's the same as when you die on Earth, right? The loved ones, your family members that have already went before you are there waiting for you for when you finally arrive. They're already there waiting for you. That part is actually taught in the Christian scriptures. You already know that. Really? It's already taught in the Christian scriptures. That's something new. The afterlife, the illusion fields, that's already a part of core tenets of Christianity. If you believe in Christ, then you will be with your loved ones in paradise. You already know that. That already is a part of how it all works. Yep. It's how it all works. It's it's what it does. It's what makes it amazing. I'm not seeing, by the way, a ton of uh, new views on this. Nope. I'm not seeing a lot of likes either. Nope. And uh, let's see. What's this? For subs. Wait a minute. Good enough. They're alone. Yeah, okay. So. You can't with what with me, Stan. That was the easiest way to adapt the software for right now. This we already tried going through setting up all this up. We didn't have full time because between getting ready for movie night, which it seemed like the Austin Powers movie was more popular than the Sean Connery's Never Say Never Again. 
I thought Never Say Never Again was actually pretty good. Um, absolutely. You're right. Just wait to the landscape, guys. That's coming up. I'll be uploaded after the show. So don't you worry about this. The data sets that we're getting already shows us exactly what I suspected. This is a fad. It will quickly fade away. Not necessarily a fad, but it's a different market. It's a different streaming market. It's not the same market. Okay? I have the same problem when I'm watching landscape or portrait and landscape. My screens are equally tiny. I, I can't see them in landscape portrait streams. I have the same problem that you're having. One one of the things that Chat GPT suggested was using one by one. In other words, like nineteen twenty by nineteen twenty. And then let the software try to do the figure out what's the best ratio. Or 1280 by 1280 or 720 by 720 or. Um. Well, I mean, let's let, let's go back to about the uh, afterlife for a minute. What do we know about the afterlife? Well, it's been covered in a lot of different religious disciplines. It it's different depending which religious discipline you go to, but it seems to be a central tenet of almost all faith systems that there is an afterlife. And and I, I believe that too. But how it's gonna be is individual specific. I don't know if it can say what a Buddhist sees and what a Muslim sees and what a Jew sees, what a Protestant sees, what a Catholic sees are all the same. They're not. But in their respective religions, there is a similar theme, a place of joy. Okay? So, Silver Moon is going to be interesting because you're going to be able to, from my faith system, my faith Parthenon, which does not necessarily apply to yours, it solves a couple problems at once. Number one, Silver Moon is not heaven. Okay? Silver Moon is not the other side. So let's make sure we get this straight. Silver Moon is in another planet in another dimensional plane. This is not where our layover is going to be. Our layover is going to be on the other side. Okay? And it's going to be a short layover because the fact is we need to double check with our uh, people to make sure everything is dotted our I's and crossed our T's and life charts, make sure everything's perfect, make sure everybody's happy with the decisions. Brian K., I already know that. Take it to Noodles, not me. He's the one who wanted to see this. Take it to noodles. You don't like it? Take it to noodles. I don't want to hear about it. All right? I'm just doing this because I need to get the data sets. This is the best I could do and in short notice. And I've used this format before. So it's not like it's the first time I've used this format. Yeah, Zuckerberg admitted that. 
But what Zuckerberg probably didn't tell you is why he got Zuckered into it in the first place. Zuckerberg got Zuckered into doing the censorship and crap in the first place because they were twisting his arm to make sure he says what he said and did what he did. Uh, remember what Jesus said, Amen, Amen, son, I say unto you, for one who loses his life for my sake will find it. Which means, even if they kill you, you will still have eternal life if you were, if you died in, for the sake of your belief of Jesus, of Nazareth, okay? This is, this is what it states in the Bible. That's not Michelle's Bible. That is the Holy Bible. As as is canonized in the New Testament by uh, St. Constantine. All right? That's what he said. For one who loses his life for his sake will find it. So, if you are afraid of someone holding an AK-47 to your skull, but you truly believe in Christ, and you profess your belief in Christ, and he fills your brain cells full of lead, and you die of blood loss and lead poisoning, be aware that because of your love of Christ, you will be in paradise. Come on, Henry, I have lots of pictures of Silver Moon. We sure do. We sure do. Yeah, we can certainly do it better than that. Let me show you the ones we already have. Hey, man. Where is it? Discover. Oh, I know where they are. Okay, go to the artwork section. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. What? Not the artwork section. Um, oh my goodness, you're going to make it way more complicated. It's worth Michelle, hold on, hold on. Don't make it complicated. Use V, use X, use v, VLC. Certainly do have pictures of Silver Moon. Allow me to load them for you. I got several pictures of Silver Moon. And um, so I created. In fact, let me show you my little slide show. Yep, she sure has one. Yeah, I do. I'm just going to load all the artwork in. Uh... Oh, that's right. So you you move you move you made a folder for it. Yep. Um, final cut, final cut, final cut. Presentation flat. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, we have another movie for that. Movie night too. James Bond, never seen ever again. That's what we said last night. Michelle's music. Dally, Tunnel Bear. You're terrible finding pictures on this thing. Yeah, I know. I moved them so many times. There he is. All right, so why don't we just pull them up and then pour them all, and then we'll see them all together. Let's make a slideshow. Okay. I got I got to set this up. No, oh, come on. Yeah, I know. No. Yeah, make sure to select that one. 
<sighs> I know. This is going to be small, but. So go to VLC, click the gear, select the VLC player. Okay, okay. All right, so the first one is called Blood Elf Train Station. Now, the Silver Moon Amtrak Train Station, which is key to our story, this is one illustration of the train station. And you can see um, the, um, the actual structure here of the train station. And, uh, can we, Jesus Christ, can you make this any bigger? No, but me, what? Um, uh, yeah, actually, can you make that actually smaller so I can get to the controls on the bottom of the screen? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, unfortunately, no, I can't. What? <laughs> Wait, you can't? No. Why? I don't know, I just can't. Shit. Um. So let me relay load, but rude. Seems to close the window. Uh, there it is. Okay, so first of all, let's screen this. Let's shrink the screen down a lot. All right, so let's try again, shall we? <sighs> okay, Loon, let's go with the slideshow. All right, so this is train station. I mentioned that earlier, okay? And um, that's one idea of, the, or of what they think the train station will look like. This is the other idea of what the train station could look like. Okay. Half size. There's some convenience foods that several elves might like. Some more convenience foods the blood elves might enjoy. Um, this is the favelas, the silver moon favelas. Let me pause there for a second so you can see this. Basically, it's very similar to those in Rio, Rio de Janeiro. They're kind of hung out nestled in the hillsides out, out around the city itself. <laughs> Me and... Brian are here to, uh, in Black Mesa during. All right, so let's go to the next scene here. Um, this is the another look at the favela close up, what they would look like. Even for Silver Moon and favelas. This is the interior of one of the Roman Catholic church designs in Silver Moon. Because of all the immigrants that came in because of Amtrak, there was a push the Roman Catholic church wanted to be part of the deal. Also, a lot of blood elves also converted to Catholicism from the Church of the Light and the Church of the Fell. Um, so, by the way, Bikela is Catholic. I know, because I'm the gala. Yep. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, beautiful interior, by the way. I, I think it's um, just shows you um, the work that the thing realized. can't hear you. There ain't nothing to hear. All right, so let's go to the next one here. This is another Roman Catholic church. 
design. Um, again, very gothic oriented. A little bit more like St. Joe's and Winstead, actually. But you're, you're, you can see that you have your, your altar at uh, the priest faces. They do not do it like the new mass. They, they use the Tridentium original uh, Latin right in the vernacular of uh, Silver Moon, which is the Laosian. All right, so let's go to the next one here. It's the exterior of one of the churches outside of Silver Moon City. Um, again, it's got a lot of Elvish. Another one over here. Another Catholic church. And this is the Church of the Light, which was the competing faith system. Um, originally, the church does not have a roof. Or the roof would might be considered translucent, transparent. Um... So, this is another variation of the Church of the Light. Again, glass roof or transparent roof. Maybe maintained by root, may, magic. This is a modern blood elf kitchen in the nicer apartments of Silver Moon. Definitely a higher income people live here. This is um, in the city itself, which isn't surprising. And um, definitely highbrow housing. This is another kitchen design here. Again, you have a lot of lighting, um, a standard sink, gas range. Usually running on propane because that's where they get the U.S. gas from America is in propane. It's not natural gas, it's propane. This is one of the bedroom for the world to do. This is kind of an expensive bedroom. Um, um, we are all in anonymous watching our... Everything has happened and will happen because it is a remote viewing session. Nice bedroom, though. Yeah. These are apartments and stuff in Silver Moon. These are really for high brow people with lots and lots of gold. This is a more basic kitchen in one of the favelas. Um, you'll see it's not very fancy. Um, it doesn't even appear to have running water in that one. Um, no, it does, but I don't like cold water. Oh, okay. So no hot water, no hot water. And this is a bedroom, one of the favelas. Really nice. I like this bedroom. I think it's cute. I probably do. I think it's a cute bedroom. I think it's says I'm modest. I enjoy having the ability to have electric and, and um, service. And uh, my structure is made out of wood. And it's pretty. It's it's. I like it though. It's it's cute. You know, see, this could easily be shown on a uh, larger screen. This is here is the Blood Elf bedroom, another design of the favela Blood Elf bedroom. Um, I'm just trying to get through these slides as fast as I can. This is the picture of Orgrimmar City. Orgrimmar. Orkland. Orkland. <laughs> <laughs> Mud pits. Yeah. I think it's ugly as hell. What? Orgamar City. 
capital of the world. Another idea what it would look like. Still ugly as hell. I really don't like it. Silver Moon City. Silver, I mean, I'm sorry, Stormwind. This is Stormwind as according to the, the software. Showing what Stormwind look, look like. And I think it looks pretty good, actually. No, I'm not a BBC audience. I'm reading your side chat at the same time. Um, Homo sending asking about pictures, and I wanted to show them to you. There's not many of them. Um, this here is... That's the Stormwind City, another variation of it. Right. And it gets more interesting than this. This is Carmen Miranda, Blood Elf Carmen Miranda, just wearing everyday street clothes based on historical images of what she looks like. Yes, I see you guys. Do I, you exist? Yes, you exist. Let me on this chat. It doesn't seem like you do, but uh, you do. I see you. Another variation, again, with the flower in the hair and their big ears sticking out. Looking really, really spicy. I like it a lot. It's a cute booster. Um, the four, the four blood elves. Carmen Miranda is the one on the end. You can see me. Um, which one's you? Um, the one's me. I think you're in the other end. Yeah, I think I see me. I think I'm the one on the on the far. Left, yeah, and you're reading right across from Carmen. You're the one that's sitting next to me, right? I'm always on your left. But there's two blondes on my left. Who's the other blonde? I don't know. Does somebody that happens to be a friend of ours? Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> um, they're all at Pizza Hut and Stormwind or right, Silver Moon eating dinner. Um, this is another one with three. Bigger ears, night elf sized ears. These are much bigger ears. This is actually the first illustration that was done. For Rusty, though. Who are you talking about? Who doesn't want Michelle to live like this? Michelle has no choice, guys. You know, she doesn't have a lot of money coming in. No. Good morning, Kay. How you doing? Yes, you exist. We all know our posts in the past. Is... Me and Rusty's doing fine. Oh, now I lost my picture. Okay, which one was this one? This is the realistic portrait of Michelle Marie Delaney. Look smashing, my dear. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, and this is a realistic landscape for Michelle Marie Zlani. Rematch and the Blood Elf. Now, if I can figure out where I could actually upload some of my actual images, I wonder what they would look like. <laughs> Don't give the software ideas. Um... A realistic landscape of Michelle Marie's Lenny, Blood Elf. There, I like that one. That's cute with the ears. Look kind of like your ears. Yeah, they do. Did I say you do not exist? Temper? No, I'm serious, Loom. Michelle never said you don't exist, people. She never said you do not exist. Homeless Henry. Asked to see pictures. So Michelle pulled up the pictures so that you could see what they looked like. Okay? Do we understand each other now? Do we understand each other? People can't comprehend both at the same time. Now, 
15 views, 78, actually 6, 78 views, 15 people on here. Is that really the kind of numbers Noodle's talking about? Honestly, no. <laughs> He's saying you should be able to bring in like 300, 400, 500, 600 people. That isn't going to happen, folks. Not here anyway. Houseless in me, whatever. The point is, you asked to see the pictures. So why is everybody in the panel saying that Michelle's trying to ignore you? Give us a break! No, I absolutely, you're not going to give them a break, Mom. Michelle, listen, Jewish people! Okay? Houseless Henry wanted to see pictures of Silver Moon. We're trying to show him the pictures of Silver Moon. Give us Kyle a little slack. Okay, I'm so sick and tired of having everybody judging us and talking bad about us in the side chat. Now, I don't know what this is about the cat, and I have no idea what the hell this is going on because we're trying to show and explain the pictures that we're showing you on the goddamn screen! Cause all slack here now! I'm tired of this shit! Yeah, it does suck. Fortunately, the landscape will be coming up later on after we upload it. So I'll be uploading a little bit. We know you exist. How far back do you want me to go look at this comment? The point I'm trying to say is, you people, Noodle suggested this from it. What the hell for? It doesn't work for this desktop. It never will. I told this to Michelle this morning. This is goddamn stupid. This doesn't work for us. It don't work. It'll not work. And now when you're on desktop, all you're seeing is the same thing that's even tinier. <laughs> so why would just knock off the bullshit and use what's been working the whole time? Oh, The decision to go where? As far as I know, Michelle is not going nowhere. Except when she finally passes on and we know where she's going then. Yeah, I'll be your next set of kink for Kingsford charcoal, unfortunately. <laughs> the thing is, is that Michelle was trying to point out to some people here. You know, people sure talk a lot about Michelle behind her back, don't you? You sure do. Every day. It's, oh, Michelle can't do this. Michelle can't do that. Michelle was qualified. blah, 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 blah. Shut up with the goddamn blah, 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 blahs. I know all about Michelle's capable of doing. For Christ's sakes, I live with Michelle every day. Oh, yeah. I know what she can and cannot do. Michelle knows her limits. And God damn it, this whole vertical stream thing sucks. <laughs> we are talking about Sarah Moon. 
But everybody starts talking crap in the side chat. And I'm sick and tired of hearing everybody talking about crap about Michelle in the side chat. They're not interested in seeing Silver Moon. They just want to criticize Michelle all the time. Leave the woman alone and let her try to do her best, to do the best with what she has. Thank God we're going to have the show in landscape afterwards. It'll be uploaded later on. We have the same videos in landscape and it's complete. It's the same source, same material, and one thing, much bigger screen. Are you trying to take whose freedom? You cannot legally take away a person's freedom in the United States unless they're being incarcerated. You do realize that, right? American law, American mental health law, especially, is very specific. You can only take away a person's right if they are guilty of a crime and for, for, subject to incarceration. So don't say, quote, we're trying not to take away your freedom. That's baloney. And you know that. I know that. My, I saw it with my own grandfather back in Helsinki. Don't tell me that you don't know that. I had a loved one that had senile dementia end up in a sanitarium. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened to him, too. They locked him up. He never saw the light of day. He died isolated from family and friends, all because somebody felt that he was not capable of serving in the community at large. That was a Victorian way of thinking. Get it up, get it out of your ass, folks. That doesn't work that way in the 21st century. Thank God there is some recovery. And you know, the thing is, what's wrong with letting people just do the best they can as long as they're not violating the laws of the United States of America? Yeah, why don't you move to another topic? Because you know what? This is the goddamn porch landscape business, portrait landscape controversy has been on Michelle's nerves for months. It really has been. You guys are so hypercritical of anybody. Michelle is doing the best she can. She really is. You know that. I know that. And what's wrong with letting people just live their lives to the best of their ability? Not all of us have a lot of money, and not a lot of us have a lot of ability to do a lot of things because of disabilities. But at least, at least let us live at, to the best of our ability as free American Citizens, okay? It's ruining my life because the fact is everybody says they want to see the portrait mode. I put portrait mode up as best I can and then they complain. And then I got to watch this video later on to see this tiny screen, the little fly speck of a screen on my little phone. Which means I have to zoom it up a lot. Which means I lose picture quality. Nobody here ever thought about that. This is not necessarily better for a person with a visual impairment at all. I don't even know why it's such a big deal. 
even regular full normal full scale portrait mode and a phone and landscape is misery if you ever watch it the first thing you'll notice is that everything is so small the chat the conversations everything I'm not in tears right now. I'm just plain frustrated. Brian King, what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you even talking about? You don't even know what you're talking about. Of course I'm allowed to have visitors to my apartment, if I choose to, which I usually don't. But I usually sometimes visitors come over, like Stan CT and stuff does come visit. I mean, you guys are so worried about the world so much. Why don't you help the homeless people that need places to live? At least I have housing. That's more than a lot of the other homeless people in the world have. Why don't we offer them a helping hand? Worry about those who cannot find housing. Don't worry about those that already have housing. Well, that's, what I, that's what I said, Rambo, to Michelle, too. Michelle needs to do it her way, okay? But she said, well, I want to prove data. I want to prove Noodle's a point. And have we proved the point? Right now, it looks like he proved you one. You already got 95 views. Engagement sucks, Loma. It's only six minutes and four seconds. Yeah, it does suck. So the engagement's lower, the views are up, but the engagement sucks. This is not a solution. Depends on the homeless person. What about the homeless person who's working homeless? That only became homeless because the job they had to take didn't have enough to pay for the apartment or housing, say in like cities like San Francisco or New York or Los Angeles. They don't drink, they don't drug. They're working homeless. What about them? They just couldn't afford housing. Does that mean it's their own fault that they can't find a job that pays enough to pay for a $3,000 a month apartment in San Fran? or Boston, Massachusetts, or New York City. Tell me right there. How is it their fault of their lack of priorities when they're busting tail, trying to pay enough money to pay for the apartment and find out that they cannot afford it? Rents have gone up over 200% in the last four years. 200% in some areas, sometimes 400%. Well, they do exist. They're the ones that live in the cars. Those are the ones that go to work every day and live in their cars because they don't have a choice. No, it's not our fault. But it's not our fault with the substance abuse ones either. But the point I'm trying to get at is that we're saying and criticizing these people sometimes for reasons that are nothing to do with their own actions. You're right. We are. I 
I'm going to show you it's not just a California problem. So let's let's not let's not sweep this under the rug because it ain't gonna work. All right, it just doesn't work for, and I, I it doesn't wash for me. Now, as far as the things that are being said here. Let me tell you something straight up, buddy. I don't know anything of why you people say all this strange stuff about how we have to protect Michelle from Michelle. Don't worry about Michelle. Michelle will protect herself. They really will. And stop judging people. For the love of Pete. Stop telling people that you think you know what they need to do in life. You're not them. You're not them. I'm sure there's some that do, but you know what? I am so, so tired of seeing the bullshit. That I keep seeing every day. I'm being criticized. Back to me for a second. I'm being criticized for what? Because I'm poor. And because I'm poor. I'm considered not worthy. Well, that's not a lie about it, guys. That's the straight truth. It's what it is, is it is. Everybody sits there, judges people because of what? Because they can't do anything because they're disabled? Or that they, they think that they know better what, what they, they really do? Do you really know anything about us? What do you know about us? Now, it's true that after grants passed and the Supreme Court ruling was determined constitutional that the state, the towns have the right to decide with local ordinances that say about homeless people sleeping in their cars. That means that, yes, if the police tell you to move, you gotta move. Okay? Now, as far as this crazy bullshit format, I hate it. I hate this format. I think it sucks. I really do. But we're stuck with it for the remainder of the show, so let's just make the best of it. Okay. And then after this is over, I'll upload the other one. And then we can compare the two. I mean, the judgment of people with disabilities is insane. Good morning, Chris. David S. Stan CT.
I have the chat in two places. So, I do want to finish this slideshow, and we're going to finish this slideshow. Achoo. Yeah, let's sneeze our way to the next channel. All right, now, I'm going to skip so many pictures because we already played some of them. Um, and um, I want to go back to the luxurious magical bathroom. These, please understand, the ones in Silver Moon, this is kind of where all the rich people live. This is their fancy idea of a bathroom. This is probably like in a manor home. This is not your typical bathroom at all. Notice, if you will, you got four sinks. Clearly, the blood elves like to be clean. There is a toilet. That is off camera. That thing in the center is the bathing bathing area. That's where you bathe and keep clean. And um, so let's go to the next slide. This is a little smaller. Again, lots of water, sinks. Except you got it like a hot tub in the center. It is actually a hot tub. This is, um, again, a well-to-do, like, major, like, major store bathroom. This is not your typical small economy bathroom in an apartment setting, which I'll show you next. Um, this is definitely really high-tech. This is more of a rudimentary bathroom you might find in a small apartment. More like a typical American type bathroom. You got your light fixtures on the ceiling. You got your shower or tub. This has a tub. Um, and this one doesn't have a shower on this one. Very fancy, but still a more basic apartment sized bathroom. Okay, so this is what you might find in a nice apartment in Silver Moon. Not the palatial ones like you said in the other ones. This is another bathroom. Um, there's some obviously AI artwork artifacts here. Or like you got half of a shower rod. I don't know why they have half of a shower rod. <laughs> Maybe half of that's a shower. Except why is the faucet on the other side? Maybe you have two faucets. Ah. I don't know who Kathy is. So, do you realize they're actually, I think they're really trolling you. Just ignore the bastards. Okay. All right. So, then we have another bathroom design as well. Another rudimentary, a little wider screen. Again, there's a toilet. But you notice there's no tank. I wonder if that toilet may be using some other type of a flushing mechanism. Um, again, there's no lights in there either. You can see where those are bricked off entrances on the side of that one as well. So you can see that there's um, this is another bathroom here with doors. Again, tankless. Maybe there's a 
uh, a cistern behind a wall. I don't know. It's just different. All right, this is your basic favela bathroom. This is um more like cheap housing, cheap bathroom. It's got a shower that's made out of concrete. That's concrete. With basic DIY plumbing setup in this favela. It's not really fancy. I actually had an apartment like that in Willimantic. It was so much the apartment I had. So that was based on some actual experiences. Um, this is a little bit more fancy bathroom. This does have a tub. This may only have cold water in it. But there is water. Um, they do not have... A toilet, as you would understand, it's more like a composting toilet. Hello, Margo. How are you doing this morning? Sorry about the crazy format. I just, uh, it's an experiment. Well, I was doing fine until this morning when someone basically got my goat, so to speak. Um, but the, um, this is a test video format. Uh, I don't know what you think of it. Please do vote on the poll above if you can. Um, so far, people agree that this format is not worth it. And the engagement sucks. Yeah, the engagement just sucks. All right, so let's go back to the bathroom here. Um, one of the things I noticed with this bathroom... Is that a is that a tub that's made out of fiberglass or is that made out of concrete or stone? It looks like it might be made out of a um kind of like a a lightweight concrete. Okay, so they have way to drain gray water. Yeah, gray water, but the toilet, which is over here. It's the bucket here. This is the toilet here. Makes the sink. It is basically just a barrel that you poop and pee in, and then it you got like you sawdust. Perhaps that's what's in the bucket underneath the sink. Is the bucket of sawdust for the or lime for the toilet? Um, it's it's rudimentary. But it, it works. Um, it's not really the greatest hole. So, let's go to the next one. Again, you got the three women table. Cute picture, though, uh, in the restaurant. You got Carmen on the far left. You got me on the... Um, Lumi on the facing Carmen. You can see me, the one blonde, actually the brown haired girl, I think it's me. Oh, really? And you're right next to Carmen. So don't worry, mine. I think you're the one that's facing Carmen. Who's the other girl? Uh, I think that's a visitor. And you're all eating a large pizza. Three pizzas. So somebody's getting half of a pizza. Maybe different toppings on the pizzas. Probably different toppings on the pizzas. Again, they showed this earlier. Again, the restaurant. This is ABC Pizza in Silver Moon. Um, kind of like the real Silver Moon. ABC Pizza, the same plastic soda cups in it. They, um, so let me just go half size so I can see the chat too. I'm, like I said earlier, I'm fine. Yeah, all right, let's go back to the chat. Um, pictures. Houseless Henry was the one asked about these pictures, so. Let's just get the slideshow through, because it's just too many to go otherwise. You seem to like these pictures of restaurants with pizza for some reason. Yeah. 
same idea with longer ears. So then we can just jump ahead. As I mean, you've already been showing ears, 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 and more ears. Sure. All right. So this is a scene in Darnassus where we got one blood elf, which is the woman, the tall woman, talking to a uh, Darnassus night elf um, with the purple hair in Darnassus. And that's the artwork. So it's 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 uh it's it's pretty basic but it it does what it does yes it does all right No one's putting Michelle in a facility, right? Okay. And if I ever did, there would be a that'd be a lawsuit. And I would fight it in the court. With good reason. Yeah. Very good reason. So I think this layout's stupid personally, but like I said, everybody kept saying Go portrait, go portrait, go portrait, but it doesn't work for everything. Yes, she did. Yes, she has. I have given her like, hell, I even did a whole video with her and mine, a whole video summary and a whole thank you and everything. Not if I got the right people from the Connecticut Legal Rights Project on my side. Look, guys, the point of the matter is, is that Michelle's been on her own, plus her own medical doctor would attest to that. Good thing you brought that up. My medical team would definitely attest to it. See, these people are saying things that, that they think they should take away my rights for some reason. I don't know. No one ever showed me papers or anything about this, so they might be just trolling. But at the point, at this legally, they can't touch me because I haven't done anything illegal. There's no case. There's no lawsuit, guys. They're trolling. Yeah, they're just trolling at this point. Oh, thank you for the follow. I much appreciate it. Uh, I don't think my current medical doctor is under any investigation. I switched from Dr. Lummy Bow years ago. I don't have Dr. Lummy Bow anymore because I couldn't afford to get to Torrington that easily to get to see him. So I switched to a local doctor in town. In fact, Dr. Lumia Bio already tired. That's the reason I originally switched to another doctor. See, again, here we got this YouTube thing where people are coming up with content that doesn't even really even apply. It realistically doesn't even matter anyway. Because a lot of this stuff is personal issues that have nothing to do with this channel. 
and you guys are making a story out of nothing that's happening? Ain't no one talked to me either about anything. You would think they would interview me. So, speaking of noodles, where is he? He's not here. I know that. Why? He is usually the one that comes up and says, oh, you know, you got to do this, got to do that. Where is he? But the engagement sucks, though. Um, that's the thing, Red. The engagement sucks. It's not bringing in engaging. I'm sorry, but 7 minutes and 24 seconds... Thank you very, very much for the follow. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> My show base works best on engagement. It's not so much the follows. I mean, uh, the, the, the views. The views are nice, but that's not the point. You didn't talk to my mother. Brian, now I know you're trolling because my mother would have talked to me about this and she never even sent me a message. Michelle's mother really doesn't care to get in the middle of Michelle's life. No. Kanye says you're a snow digger. What's a snow digger? By the way, you want to talk about snow this winter? We already have a cold Arctic front coming in for the East Coast United States. Already in early September, it's going to seriously bring the temperatures down quite a bit. I just wanted to let you know that. Ah, uh, well, well, well. I hate this format. I really hate this format. Because it doesn't work for me. Uh, let me see how many subscribers we got. None. One. Only one. One subscriber. Just one. Just one. One new subscriber. So what exactly does this format do for me? I can't until the stream ends. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, so there's no way we can go back to this other format until the stream ends. 
which confirms exactly what the poll says. Allow me to educate you. 70% say they do not like this format. 30% of you say they do. Well, guess what? 30% is not the majority, so we're not going to go back to this format again. We're not going to use this format again. Thank God. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 34 votes, which is why we made it long enough for larger sample size. Now, we're still stuck with this format for another 45 minutes, so we might as well make the best of it. Of course, later on when I upload the landscape one, I'll just delete this one. Because, obviously, oh, I just keep both. Why? Because that way people can watch both of them and they can have another poll Boom, we already looked at the data set. No, no. It already shows that this is not a viable choice. No, the live view is currently right now is actually right here is 123 views so 34 out of 123 is certainly possibly a very valid score Engagement is only in 8 minutes and 11 seconds. Eight minutes and 11 seconds is terrible engagement. By now, this time, a normal stream would be having close to 17, 18 minutes engagement time. The engagement is just not here with us. So we're not getting the engagement. The engagement is only half of what I get by this time in the morning. Only half. Yes, right, but in this case, no, I got no data set to come in. The same thing happened when I uploaded the video in Portugal with the dancing. The, the landscape one already existed. The portrait did not get additional views. It got less. The same thing when I uploaded one of my vlogs in portrait mode. It got even less than the landscape, or no, about the same. About the same, right? Maybe about three more, but that's about it, though. In case one was lower. Brian, will you please tell me what in heaven's name you're even talking about? Because no one has contacted me. I, if there was a case like that, I would have the legal right to have hire and represent my own attorney and get my own attorney. There has been no documents. There have been nobody saying nothing to me in a court. 
That requires that the document has to be summoned for someone to be summoned to court. You're not even got a court document. So why don't you do me a favor and please stop talking garbage. No, you can actually, no, I'll show you the numbers. I'm not afraid. Let me show you this. No, I'll show you these numbers. I'll show you the numbers that I'm using. Scene three, I got it. Let's get this on the screen. Let's show them the stats. You want to see the stats? Well, let's look at the stats that I'm looking at. Let's look at the screen I'm looking at. There you go. Look at this. And you're calling me this an improvement? You're calling this an improvement? It's not an improvement. It's not, the data set is terrible. It doesn't work. Brian. Please stop, okay? Please stop. No, I'm not talking about it at all. That's not even, that's the point. We have better engagement when we were doing it the other way we were doing it regularly. The point is, this just proves the point. It's not the video format that's going to bring in views in this case. Portrait could destroy my channel's reputation. That's why I'll try it on my channel, but I don't know if it's going to do much for me either. But I have less to lose. You have less to lose. But guys, could you please put some likes and likes or anyway, because all Michelle is doing this just to prove a point. Okay? And the point has been made. I will talk to Chris. Today. I will type at. I'll talk to her in a little chat in a little bit. No, I don't know what you're talking about, but the thing is, okay, thank you. If you hit it twice, it actually unlikes it. Uh, personally, if I could give my stream a thumb down, I would because I don't like this format. I really don't. Um, so, you know, like I said, you guys got me upset about something completely different. Now I need to do some fact finding and find out what's going on from people I can trust. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. David S., do you, on this, do you know anything about what Brian K. is talking about? I want to just ask you about that for a minute. I know that's out of the normal realm of your expertise, but do you have any idea what Brian K. is talking about? What, what Connecticut law says about that topic?
I don't know. What do you think your daughters are more capable of handling? Remember, there's going to be kickback to that either gun, so... Krista isn't even here. Not a clue either. I don't either, David. I really don't. So, let me take a look at the chat here. Discord. I don't see any comments on Discord or any of the groups. Okay, even Noodles isn't here today. How you doing, Mojo? Noodles is usually the one that's here saying, Yeah, you go to a portrait mode. I'm in portrait mode and he's not here. I didn't block Glasgow Dave. I'm not letting him up on panel. It's a little different. Stan, you're the only one that talks about this. So I'm still going to find out what's going on from some people I know. Got a blue background on the picture. Yeah, there's a background um, in the picture. It's kind of a purpley blue background. That's in my next lifetime, but I got to finish this term first. This is portrait mode. The only thing is, it's just kind of small. Oh, there's an advantage. What? The chat is always on the bottom of the screen from YouTube, so people can see that. Let me go get my phone on the phone for a second. I'm going to type Chris a message. Take the weather forecast at the same time. My area, which is 
Okay, let me do two things at once. Number one, is there any messages? No, no, no. Okay, so first of all, message from Patty Damar. Krista, I'm going to ask you a question here. I'm asking a question about the declining thing. Oh, mm hmm, mm hmm. Boom. All right. Okay. So I sent her a message about that. That's what she says when she gets back to me. All right. Now the other weather forecast says it's 27 degrees today. Expect the high is 29. But take a look at Tuesday, Thursday. Thursday will be high of 23. Friday, Sunday, high of 23. Saturday, 30% chance of rain, a high of 24. Sunday, mostly cloudy with a high of 27. Monday, Sunday at a high of 21. Tuesday, a high of 20. Wednesday, Sunday at a high of 23. Thursday, a high of 26, 25. And a Friday of next week, a high of 23. So it looks to me, um, let's take a look at all the, all the Patty and Tamar messages since she's got an old shitload of them here. Um, rents are $2,500. Yep. Uh, with my boyfriend, and it was highly expensive. Um, ele election, nothing new about that. New kitchen floor. Um, Christy used it there, and you're comfortable. Well, yeah, the uh, let's see any messages. Yeah, Krista got back to me. She says, "Yeah, but no, I did not tell him that uh, your health is is going down the shitter." Well, where he said you told him, you told him and Stan told him. Now. He and Stan are scheming. Are scheming. Come on the show, um, the show in text chat. In text chat, clear up, clear the air. This up. Okay. So okay. Uh he didn't. I'll be home because of easy targeting. In, in mass, they'll flood the area. 
All these senior places and centers are massive targets at the moment. Are we talking about elder abuse? Are we talking about um, being just moving out of the city into the country neighborhoods? I mean, of course they're moving out of the cities. Because they realize that with all the stuff that they normally market, except for the type 1 and type 2, if it's marijuana, they can go get that dispensary cheaper. But in the countryside, they can't. And they know that. Because not people who can't drive can't buy it. Because they don't have a car to get there. He thinks that you and, and Sophie Okay. Um uh, come join us and type join us in chat. Us in chat. Let's. This is getting great. This is not good trolling. It is not good trolling. Um, call me later. Okay, call me later on. And so she doesn't have hot Wi-Fi where she is now. Call me later today. Today or come upstairs. Or come up stairs immediately stairs when you come back you come back okay call me later to come upstairs when you come back we're gonna get this we're gonna get to the bottom of this we're gonna get to the bottom of this My generation is a couple decades won't be able to do it by online. Stay probably making online bets. Yeah, it's a boomer's game. Do you realize how much money Terry, uh, Red? Uh, Generation X, Generation Y, and Generation Z are spending on software subscriptions. I say when you get, okay. All right. Boomer's game. I agree with that.
bring her up. All right. What we did four years ago, you pull your wrong. Guys, let's be honest one thing. Okay, what's going on is the reality starting to smack people in the face. That the stuff that they did before voting for all this crazy stuff that the far left wanted you to vote for, now you realize it's too late that you, that you have done damage to yourself, your credibility, whatever it is. Uh... Uh, you know, wait, I need a lawyer. No, I'm still on now. Did you, said, did you join the show earlier? No. I am still alive. Okay. Alright, so. Yeah, but I need a case number first. I need a docket number. I need to uh, see the court papers. If there's court papers, there has to be court papers. And uh, I need that. So I have to be served. Yeah. Well, I mean, as far as the UK goes, I mean, they in, in the United States too. It's not just a UK thing. And we have the same problem here. We have allowed this craziness to go on, and it's hurting our, our country. And when you ask anyone here to verify what's going on, they absolutely have no idea. See, going to eat. Well, um, well, take care of yourself, Mojo. I know you've been having problems. I don't know all the details. Yeah, I know, Red. Uh, but it's time that, you know... RFK Jr. is one of them that has been a career politician that knows what's going on in the manipulation by the masses. So, um, no papers served. So that's what you got to wait for some papers. Yeah. Yes, I know. I'm sorry about that, Belcher, that you're not feeling well. I know you're trying. Uh, whatever is affecting you is obviously having a negative impact on your body. Who's Kears? Is that Kamala Harris is what you're talking about? 
Well, first of all, I still don't understand why it's important to bring people into this where people are controlling other people. I think it's kind of silly. It really is. Um, that makes no sense. Six months to a year. First of all, guys, if it really was serious, it would not take no six months to a year. All right. Oh, oh, okay. The UK Prime Minister. Okay. I don't really know what he's going to do for me personally. I haven't talked to Trump yet to know what he's going to do for me personally. But I do know that he certainly wants to make sure that those with individual disabilities will continue to get the benefits that they need. And he also has made it clear that he does not want to mess with Social Security. No, I can't talk to Trump. I don't even have a way to reach him. Well. My doctors would fight it, which they would. However, I'm concerned about something else that isn't going to take no six months to a year is realistically, given the craziness that Biden has done, there is a realistic possibility your rent could go up again. Yes. I could send him a letter. That's what I can do, just like everyone else can. Yes, I heard about that too. And not really, I really question if that's really the right answer. You know... It's not like you just... However, if the rent goes up any more than it is, then you might have no choice but to move. Um, Stay
Stan, let me just say one thing about what you and Brian K were talking about. You do realize that my medical team would fight you. However, what Louie points out, there is a valid concern that you, which you already know. What if the rent goes up? There is no way I can afford to pay more rent. You already know that, right? That's... Oh. And she says, okay, but... Where, when would you let go wash your clothes? <laughs> Um, uh, maybe next week when I get big. When I get paid. How does... This relates to what we were talking about. To what we were talking about. We are talking about. That is a good point, though. How does... <clears throat> Brian K, do you realize that in the state of Connecticut, I'm protected from a lot of this stuff, especially if there's no criminal actions or any kind of civil actions done because of civil disturbances and things like that? That would protect me. However, Louie brought up a valid point. If the rent goes up anymore, I may not be able to afford to stay here. I might have to move to another state where it's cheaper. That's a reality. Okay. Um, it's, uh, it's disturbing, actually, but it's a reality. Right, and that's another thing, because I'm not in trouble. The court is not going to agree with that. The courts will not agree with that. Because they're going to go, wait a minute, what did she do wrong? You're the one who's talking about this, so why don't you guys come clean about this? Because you know what? I don't know why you think... That it's right and proper to talk about crazy crap like this. One, you don't even know that I haven't done anything wrong to even require such care. You know, Brian, I don't know if I should kick you out of here. And Stan, I don't want to do the same to you, but I really don't need to hear this kind of stuff on this chat. I really don't. No, but they know about Lummy. Lummy lives here. Lummy is part of my life. So they already know about Lummy. She's just a spiritual advocate. She works as a spiritual advocate on the other realm. That's what she does. Very different situation. Um, always been that way. Mm -hmm. 
And who are the people you're talking? Who are these people? See now, David, this I don't even know what's going on here, okay? Because Stan CT is up to something, Brian K is up to something, and um, I need to know what is my legal recourses of action. I, I need to talk to a lawyer that would be able to give me advice or somebody who in the legal division that knows what the actual law says regarding this. So, David asks, if you know anybody in the legal eagles department that could, uh, I can contact? Uh, you can send me an email with information. Except I don't, I don't growl and yell and stuff like that. It's completely a different person. I don't know much about Emily to be see there just enough that it's a one video clip. I know a lawyer that works in the um, Camilla Harris campaign. Sure. Do you want my? Can you want me to give me your my, my email address so you can give me the phone number privately? Um, does she? Um, does she have a um, legal right to practice law in Connecticut? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Hold on a minute, look, Christelle, get... Okay. So let me copy this and send it to two people at the same time. Let's send it first to X-Files. And let's send this to David. So just contact me about this. Private, send me information. I think you should wash up more. Um, I think you should wash your clothes. Yeah, okay, fine. I can see washing clothes tomorrow. Again, there's there's the issue of money. That's always the issue. In time. In time. <sighs> uh, find me a lawyer. Let me just set the scene to silence so I can avoid getting ding dong for five seconds. Um, we have our own legal department, but they focus on shutting down housing developments, putting corporations out of business. Well, could you ask somebody, or Brian K, would you be willing to share? Well, I know, which is really not much. They're saying that they don't think I'm suitable living on my own. That's what they're saying. They're saying I'm not suitable living on my own. Michelle's been living on her own since she moved out of her parents' house in 1980, 
I mean, Michelle's been living on her own since 1993, guys. So this is not like she just... Okay, well, California isn't going to do me much good. Well, first of all, you are, because that's what this is all about, isn't it? This is what this is all about. This... This whole thing has to do with saying is I'm not, you don't think I'm capable of living on my own. I think you need to talk to Tiger Kitty. I think you need to talk to me. I think you need to talk to me face ear, ear to ear on a chat with Tiger Kitty present. And this is definitely not something to be brought up on a YouTube channel. By doing out what you're doing is you're fostering drama. And we all know why I think about that. Brian K. We have a family downstairs with an elderly woman that lives with her ch her children. We also have another one, the elderly lady that lives with her daughter, individually in Christmas apartment. The fact of the matter is, people like me do live on their own. It's just the nature of things. But what Lomi's concerned about is something that has nothing to do about this. Has to do with the rents. The fact that rents keep going up. That's a valid concern. That's actually a good question. I'll call 211 later on, find out what I can do. Okay? But I think the first thing I tell you is until you actually see the court documents, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, there's, they need the court documents. Right now, you have no court documents. I'm concerned, like Lumi said, about rent cost. It's just a real fear. I don't think there's really much you can do about rent cost. Except to go where it's cheaper, which if things come to that, it's going to have to happen one way or another. But, you know, that's is a valid fear that we need to deal with. I think Biden's concerned that you can't clean properly. Well, that's kind of valid to a point. I will net nah, you can't clean properly, live on cereal, and and uh, but you know what? Here's the thing. Um, 
person who lives in cereal isn't necessarily a bad person. Uh, and I don't go to McDonald's on a regular basis because I hate McDonald's food most of the time. I don't even really like it. Um, I'll go once in a great while, but it's gotten so expensive that I can't afford to go there and eat. Exactly. West. You can't go east except to Providence and Massachusetts. And that's as far east as you can go. But west, maybe Midwest, where? Um, I don't know. Kansas? <laughs> I'm going to go back to Kansas again. Or a place like Kansas, Nebraska, North Dakota, say Bismarck. Yuck. Bismarck is so plain. I know. I know. I get that. So, in other words, there's not really a lot of choices. There really isn't that many options. You've got a situation nationwide where rents are going up. Some areas by a lot, some a little slower, but still, there are rent, hit, there are rent increases. Yeah, I know. But then when she does her tax increases, it's going to affect every state. It's not just going to affect some. And that's the truth. His taxes went up by a huge chunk. His property taxes, his insurance, his utility costs for heating the building and the hot water had gone up so much. Trash removal bills gone up so much. He had no choice. Yes, and so do I. Brian, again, will you stop being so goddamn cagey? Because, you know, I'm really getting tired of this. I really am. I really am. It's not even funny. Okay? It really is not funny what you're doing. It's cruel. And I really don't understand why you're doing it. Mind your own beeswax. Okay? Mind your own beeswax. Do what you got to do. For you, not me. I've already got my situation covered. For now, I'm worried about some valid concerns, which you haven't even addressed. I just did, Justin, though. The rent's going to go up sooner or later. Well, you're the one who's bringing this up in a public forum. You didn't even think of that. It's almost like you wanted to start trauma. It's like, why? The show right now is not good because originally because of the portrait mode. We got to cover that, right? But now we're dealing with this drama issue, which I don't really want to get into. I'm not mad. Look, it's just red. It's just a whole... He's bringing up something that it should not be addressed in a public forum in a public forum. That's This is not a public forum topic. This shouldn't even be here.
Because this topic is not even related to the show at all. Don't you understand? There are some things that are meant to be discussed in private among people. It's not meant to be brought up in a public forum like this. Because Tiger knows that this is not something that's meant for public discussion. That's why. She knows that. One day I will be... You know, just like everyone else. I mean, I, I'm I'm concerned about concerns that no, no one's really discussing here. Because they're not really meant for the public forum to discuss. For example, the rent goes up much more. Where am I going to go? Okay? I don't have a plan. I have no clue. Yeah, well, that's fine if I show you my address. I try not to show people's addresses. But what I'm trying to tell you is this is not something that really should be brought up into the public viewpoint. This is a personal show. These are personal topics that the public cannot help answer because the public is only getting pieces of what Brian K is saying and Stan CT is saying. They're not covering all the pieces. How does Tiger know? Well, first of all, Tiger would know because I talked to Tiger. And I talked to Stan and I talked to Brian in private. We know all this stuff. As far as would I be able to take my cat to low-income housing? Of course I can. Or I'd have to pay a pet fee, depending on wherever that is. I know I'm all over Google. Facebook, Bing, probably has me in a search engine, not because I chose to be there, but because they spider the network just like everybody else does. Yes, I understand that. But what I'm trying to say is, is I also have a private side of my life, too, that because of the way things are, I have to keep private. I can't bring everything up, you know? Yeah, Michelle has private things. She doesn't bring up everything on YouTube. Or Kick or Rumble or D Live or Facebook or MySpace or Daily Motion. She doesn't bring everything up there. No, I never actually asked for excessive privacy, but there are things that that I do have a right to keep private. Well, today's viewership is only 20 people, which is good, but um, I don't like this format. We're not using this format tomorrow because it's just not worth it. It really isn't. It's just this format is just not 
uh, worth it. So tomorrow will be back to our normal format again. Oh. Anyway, guys, so let me go ahead and get the other video uploaded, the landscape one, um, which won't have the side chat on the screen, but it will have the chat in the screen like we do here, so you'll be able to read it. And um, let's, and tomorrow we'll do our normal format because this is absolutely. The worst format style. I don't like this at all. Oh yeah! And I don't like the stuff that's being discussed either. It makes me very, very angry, honestly. Oh yeah! So for now, I guess you could just say, "Go have a nice day." Try to keep calm, keep cool, and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay? Bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs>